Hello, my darlings. How are we all doing today? Welcome back to Let's Build the World. I think I just made Blue jump. I did. I did. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Blue. I didn't mean to make my dog jump with that introduction. I really didn't. Oh, very naughty of me. Hello, anyway. Welcome back to part two of Dave's. Dave's house is just such a plain, plain sounding um kind of video title, wasn't it? Dave's house. Considering I've been using, one of you actually pointed this out actually in the comments. Considering I've been using surnames for everybody else and for Dave, it's just Dave's. Dave's house. So we're on part two today. We're going to be concentrating on more exterior changes. So I want to do a bit more landscaping here and there, a bit more stories. We want to put some dog poo all over the garden. Um, and I also want to concentrate on the back decking area and stuff as well. That's what today is going to be about. Yes, it is. For you guys that come to the Twitch streams, I'm actually going to be cancelling the stream this evening. Um, I've just got other things that I need to get done today. And I just haven't got the time. I haven't got the time and I'm so gutted because I was so looking forward to streaming tonight. But I've just, I'm just running out of time, love. So I'm going to have to cancel it and I'll be back next Tuesday. Yes, I will. But I'm going to leave that there and we're going to crack on and start building. Oh, and I need to introduce you to the two new cats as well that has moved in. So back at Dave's house, this is this is Dave sitting up on his porch. He, I haven't even I haven't even put a light out here for him yet. Oh, look at that spider on that cobweb there. Um, I haven't even put a light out for him here yet. So it's very dark. But um, this is one of the cats here. This is Puddle. You one of you guys had such a great idea for the cat's name so this here is puddle dave actually found puddle in a puddle um he was a little kitten oh is samson coming over to visit <gasps> samson's coming over to visit oh my god oh my god give him a treat give him a big treat go on dave give him a big treat see see he's sneaking all the treats in dave, dave has been sprayed by the skunk gross that linger oh no not dave not dave and this is the other cat this is the other cat <laughs> Now jumping up on Kylie's um, table. Kylie wouldn't care much, really. She would probably maybe try and bath. <gasps> That's a good idea. Why don't you go and give him a bath? This is Dave. So Dave the cat. Um, <laughs> and one of you said Dave probably wouldn't have had that much imagination when it comes to naming animals. So, um, yes. So, so his cat is also called Dave as well. So Dave the cat and Dave the human. And then obviously the lovely pod puddle who they found in a puddle when he was a kitten and took him in and hand reared him. He was very young, managed to escape away from his mother. So he is very dependent on Dave. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love that Samsung came over. Where has he gone now? Oh, he's sleeping in the living room now. Sleeping in the living room and Kylie is sat there doing nothing <laughs> because I haven't got autonomy on. I can't. So, yes, we are going to be cracking on with a bit more building today. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll flop over into build mode and we'll start building. So I extended the roof out from last time as well because I did a little decking area out the back here. Still giving him quite a nice little bit of a yard, which is what I wanted. But I extended the roof out over the top of it slightly just so he's got a little bit of shade from the heat that um, Willow Creek does bring. Um, so I'm going to put some stairs on this side, I think, because the doorway is going to be going. Oh, no, there was no doorway there. What was I keeping this for then? Oh, okay. I know what this is for now. Yes. Um, I might put a window there instead then. Can I use another one of these windows here? I mean, nothing's stopping us, sweetie. Apart from the fact that it doesn't really. Eh, I don't really like it, to be honest. What about like there? No, that looks weird. No, bugger it. No window there either. Um, So, yeah, I'm just going to whiffle this right in then rather than putting it all the way across there. And then he's got an even bigger bit of yard space uh, for it. And I'll put some dead bushes or something there too. Warning, this is not going to be a pretty build. So it's not going to be for all people um, who like to come and watch some pretty builds. We are definitely going to be making this place a lot very run down. Let's just say that. One of you guys had an amazing idea as well. For his love interest, you said it should be two sisters who live together. I like that idea, but what I'm thinking about doing is doing a separate little tiny house for each of the sisters and having them living on the same lot together. So maybe they, they own this plot of land 
but they've built two separate houses on it. So I'm definitely going to run with that idea as well. Thank you very much for that idea. I loved it. Um, I've started to put on wallpapers and flooring and stuff in here, but we'll wait until next week um, when we start actually going into the interiors. Yes, we will indeed. Now, don't forget, guys, I'm not getting any video out this coming Monday um, for reasons, for reasons, for secret squirrel reasons. Um, but I will be back on Tuesday. I will be back on Tuesday. Um, I just need, I need a little break, I do. I'm going to be taking a week's holiday as well. Um, probably, probably in June sometime. I'll let you all, all you guys know that. And for that week's holiday, I'm not getting any content out. Not even pre-recording anything. I'm just going to take a nice week's break. Um, I think it's needed. I think it's needed for me. So, yeah, I've got that coming up in June as well. So just, just warning you. Just letting you know. Let you know where you stand. Um, I do need, I do need a little break. I, do, I think everyone needs a break once in a while. And I'm going to take my opportunity to do it in June sometime. Uh, so just saying, just putting that out there, you know. Just putting it out there, Charlotte. Right, and I think we used this um, support beam here as well. So I can use that one all the way along here. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Is it keeping the details on all of them? Not those though. There we go. And that one over there as well, if you would. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Okay. So, I, again, I don't want much out in this garden at all. I want this garden to look overgrown, actually. So I'm thinking of just putting loads of grass down here. Um, and having a little patch around here where you, I can put some of Samson's poos. Just for, you know... Just for the overall aesthetic of what we're going for today. So let me pull out some grass and I'm going to go and find some poos as well. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So I've used this grass here and I had to move it down with a tool mod as well because it was floating slightly. Uh, and I've just placed it everywhere over the garden. I've also got out a little cheeky poo just there, which I think I'm going to add a few in. Maybe with some like pet footprints as well going through it. So let's add some poos down on this side. Um, I bet you any money Kylie comes through and starts cleaning up. I can just imagine that. I can just imagine Kylie coming through and starting to clean up. Um, oh, I think I maybe should add in like these little pet paws as well. Can I grab you? Rustic paw accents. <laughs> Rustic paw accents. More like my dog's just trailed through loads of fucking shit and I'm fuming. So I'll put them all on the ground there as well. Oh, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I was thinking about adding these bars on this house here as well. But because it's got shutters, maybe I could add one, actually. I'll go in and find them in just a second. But what I think I need to do now is do a bit more terrain painting everywhere. Because I definitely need to terrain paint underneath of here. Um, That's a bit big, love. Yeah, I definitely need to use this one. Oh, that's a bit... um. That's a bit harsh, that. Just under, so it's not got all the bright grass there, because that would just look weird. Um, Is that the right tone? It looks a bit reddy. It looks a bit red. Maybe I should go... Did I change that then? Why is it not changing? What are you doing? Stop it. Maybe I should do this one all the way along then. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I'm going to do it all the way. All the way through this garden, so it doesn't even matter about softness, really, to be honest with you. I don't mind if, like, little bits of green creep through. That's fine. In fact, I might go in and put that back in, like, little bits of green. Uh, I'll do a circle one here, and then use this one all the way down. Just so it looks... Oh, is it... Why are you not changing for? Change, for goodness sake. Don't fuss with me today. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> um, I think I'll use this one instead, actually. That would have been better even underneath of here too. So maybe I'll add that just in everywhere. Just see where your paintbrush takes you, love, you know? Just see where it takes you. Oh, well, it took us there. That's where it took us. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe just little patches of brown a bit more. What's going on with this train paint? Seriously, what is going on with it? Is it broken? It looks weird. Is it just me or does that look weird? to you <laughs> probably not but you know we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go for it 
Yes, we are. And I'm going to make sure that there is um, lots of like landscaping sticking through the fences and stuff as well. Just so it does look overgrown, even from the kind of outside edge. And I do want to put uh, some kind of hedge in this side here, which I'm going to sink down into the... Oh, I might even use that one, actually. The hedge of dreams. I think I'm going to use the Hedge of Dreams here. So if I can put two there, let me see where this one would go. Yes. And then I'll sync these down with the tool mod now. We'll do it together, darlings. So I'll flop you both down there. And if I can bring you down, maybe a minus 0. Point, oh, minus 0. 0.3. Yes, that's probably the most alive thing that's on Dave's lot, to be honest with you. Maybe I should. Maybe I could mix it up with a few of these here because they look a little bit more like worn we're not worn like you know just a little less alive shall we say oh that one there's not even floating so i'll do that one there this one here is though so i'll have to push that down but we'll do that later yeah i think so. i think that one's sticking out way too far still though for some reason it just looks weird so i'm gonna plop you both to there and i'll sink them down Okay, yeah. No, that's fine. And then I'm going to add in some more terrain paint underneath of here as well. There we go. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's fine. That will do. <laughs> that will do quite nicely. Okay, I need to probably do a little drain pipe moment up on this side here, I'm thinking. So maybe if we can get a little cheeky drain pipe. A little cheeky one. Maybe if I do it in the black, actually. Yeah, there we go. And then I can get a little storm drain out as well. Um pop you just off to the side there let me get rid of that um yeah i'll just do one of the flat ones it doesn't need to be one of the other ones just on that side there okay and we'll get some more grunge splatters around said drain pipe uh, i definitely need to go ahead and put in some more like scratches and stuff over everywhere but the only problem is these are very beige and they kind of like don't really stick out as much but i think i'm just going to size them up instead give the build a bit more texture then you know what i mean yeah i like that yeah i'm for it and the same with these on this side here so maybe i do need to go a bit darker with these as well and just can i size that up one no because you'll poke off the edges oh well i'll you just use you here instead then uh, and we'll get to the garage part next week as well so we'll actually do the garage and make the garage look i got rid of the doors as well one of you guys said why don't you just get rid of the door oh look I'll hide that with something. One of you guys said, why don't you just get rid of the doors and pretend that it's like been rolled up? I'm for that. So I nicked that idea and we're going to go for it. Yes. Yes, we are indeed. Okay. So now I don't want to, again, I don't want too much detail out here. Not at all. Uh, I don't think Dave's about making things look pretty, but I am going to put a kind of like weathered rug out here i was going to use that one but maybe i should just use one of the like the wickery looking ones like this but really darken it down um ugh. oh maybe not yeah forget about the swatches for that they're hideous yeah we'll go for this blue one we'll go for that blue one because that looks a bit weathered and a bit crap as well yes i'm for it and i think dave would probably maybe feed the cats out the front or would he feed them at the back we'll do it out the back We'll do it out the back. Um, so the only thing I really want on here now is uh, a light. A light out here, really. And I think I'll put maybe just like a a wall light up on this part here. Um, and maybe just something a little bit... No, I need to see what it's going to look like in the, in the night time. That one's probably a bit too nice. Oh, no, that one's probably not going to match in quite well. That one does look weird. <laughs> I hate that light. I don't even know why I use it. Maybe a security light. Yeah, Dave would probably be one of those people with a security light and a ring doorbell. I want a ring doorbell. Just so I can like tell my Amazon people to... Amazon people. Tell the Amazon delivery drivers just to leave, leave it at the doorstep, please. I'll be down in a minute. Because I hate having to run through the house to get my deliveries first world problems i know oh that looks gorgeous yes okay i'm gonna go and find those like security bars so give me one sec i found them and i think i'm just gonna put them fully up 
all of the window rather than just half the window. These are from Strangerville as well. If you're wondering where these were, these are from Strangerville, my loves. So, and they're in debug. They're in debug somewhere. I don't know whereabouts they are. Um, so you have to probably search through them. Um, but I just, I love them. Yes, we're going to do it. Oh God, it's going to look like a jail cell, isn't it? But we're going to do it. And some people around the world have to do this to their homes to stop it from getting broken into, you know? So the more realism, the better, isn't it? As far as I'm concerned. Is that one right? That one's right. We'll put it there as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's just added another dimension to the build, isn't it? I did it around this side as well. But for some reason, these ones stick out a lot further than them. Um, So we'll do it up here as well. I'll do one more of us and then I'll put it... Um, I'll just do it off of camera because it's probably going to be a bit boring for you if I'm putting the, all of these on all of the bloody windows. So I'll do one more there. And then this one here will size you down, darling. Still having to look at my keyboard because I'm not used to it in the slightest. Okay, the windows are all kind of prison-like now. So yes, I think it will match in well with kind of Dave's aesthetic. So that's what we're going to do. I'm planting also more of these dead-looking... <laughs> things around the garden as well these spiky dead looking plants uh, and i think we need to do a couple more bushes in the back here maybe a tree we haven't got a tree on this lot but do we have a tree well the tree wouldn't necessarily look dead would it because it's a tree trees don't really need maintenance or looking after but maybe just something that's oh there we go look i was just about to say something that wouldn't be too green you know I think I'm going to add this one in. This one, this tree here is from the Star Wars pack. I absolutely, one of my favorite packs for the trees and stuff as well. Still need to buy that pack on um, sale though. If you do want to go and get that pack because, oh, well, you won't know the reasons because it's just not a good pack. Full stop. But yeah, I do you know what? I do actually think that is where I want to go with Dave's like kind of outside area here. Obviously, I want to do a decking area. I still think, as I said in the last part, I still think he's got some mates. So I would love to have a little decking area. We could maybe have some card games and stuff with his mates when they're over. I kind of like that idea. So what I'm going to do... Oh, no, we're going to go there first. I'm going to get a little ceiling fan out here. Where's the big one that I like to put in this world? I just think it suits it. There you are, darling. Um, If I plop you just there... I'm going to size you down still there. Uh, is that in the middle? No, but that is this. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, if I can pop you to there. We're going to have Dave. Little kind of entertaining space. Maybe a bar out here as well. Yeah, maybe I could see Dave having a few drinks with a few mates. I'm kind of into that idea. So maybe if I can find that. Like, oh, would you? Oh, no, you're a bit too loud and party-ish looking for Dave. <laughs> I think maybe just using one of these ones that I use but without the lights you know the cam can we like change the color of this or not oh we can oh there we go gray like his soul <laughs> shame no he's a prick he's a prick and he needs to change his way so I'm gonna call him out on it you know I'm gonna call him out on it Dave you're a prick love you need to change and I reckon I reckon Dorothy is gonna have something to say for it Dorothy is going to teach you to change your ways. Yeah, there we go. A little bar area there. And now I want to get out the kind of card game table for him and his mates to have a little play. So um, where are they? Let me see. Was it this one? Oh, that's Wake the Llama. It's just a play. There we go. This one here. Maybe I could get the green and brown one out. And plop this into over to the corner. Little poker night with his mates. I can imagine it, can't you? Yeah, we'll pop you onto the ceiling fan, actually. And get some uncomfortable looking folding chairs out, too. Um, just in silver. Yeah, there we go. Those there. Those there out to the lawn. Bugger knows. Oh, I do not know. Bugger knows? What the fuck is that? Honestly, today is not my day, loves. I, I'm, I'm not having a day for it today. Um, it seems so weird now looking at the white ceilings. Like, I can't get used to seeing white ceilings because I've had that mod installed for so long. It looks so strange. But, um, 
yeah, I think we'll leave that there. But I also want to just pull out a few more detailing objects for this area itself. Maybe a dartboard. I would imagine Dave playing darts out here with his mates. That could be a good idea. Okay, so I dragged a dartboard out. I'm going to use the same sofa from the front out here as well. I'm going to put that one down there with a couple of little cat beds. I've made his cats like free spirits, so they kind of just run around the world willy-nilly. They don't care where they are or where they're staying. But I'm still going to give them some cat beds out on for the front just in case they want to curl up. And um, I need to do some food bowls as well, really. But I was thinking, I also look at what I gave Dave. I mean... I can see Dave in that, to be honest with you. I don't know about you, but I can see Dave with a little, like, handkerchief wrapped on his head, paddling around in that paddle pool. Um, hidden from most of the people as well, so nobody can see what he's up to. He'd be for it. He really, really would. I'm going to do it. That is happening. Um, so what I might do is put the food bowls down here somewhere. Maybe I could get rid of this grass here as well. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'm going to put the food bowls down here for the cats. For the cats, I put them at angles as well, just so it looks a little bit more organic. <clears throat> Maybe not them. They look a bit bougie. Yeah, these ones here. There we go. These ones here. Don't even need to turn them because they are circle. But I still did. I still did. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm for it. Yes, this is doing things to me. Not good things, but it's doing things, you know? But what I'm going to do is put in more... Of these details all around here as well all the way around the sides um let me see where that's going to go is that going to yeah that's a bit too big if i can do that there more of these scratches i'll be able to size this one up on this side maybe not that big though aiden that's a bit excessive love all the way to there as well um uh, do we want to do them not really we'll do the splatils i just prefer using these now but since like I've been using them on quite a few builds that have that grungy sort of vibe to them. I just prefer the shapes of these to those um those other ones that came with um vampires. Was it from vampires? Yeah. From vampires. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plot it on. Yeah, I'm gonna move you along a bit there, love. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh for it. For it, for it. And then maybe some loads of cat scratches by the door. I know we've got the cat scratches. Where are they? There they are. Can we, like, have the dot? No, they can't. Okay. Maybe we should size these down and have these just all scratched around there by the dot board. Oh, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. Uh, and I think I'm going to add one of those stains as well just out the front here. Or back, sorry. Uh, and I'll just put it just below there. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And a mat. I mean, you don't really need to wipe your feet when you come into Dave's. I don't think he'd be too precious about that. Not that he has many visitors apart from a couple of his mates and the dogs and the cats. What's that? Cats rule this house. Well, there we go. That is all we need, love. That is all we need. Yeah, I'm for it. I also gave him a little wind chime just to decorate this place up a little bit more. I'm definitely going to struggle at getting a thumbnail for this <laughs> because it is not the prettiest of builds. We can say that much. Um. Oh, yes. Yeah, adding all of that texture onto the sides and stuff there has really, really made a difference. So we'll carry on doing that around the sides as well. Carry on doing that around the sides. Uh, um, I keep sizing it up way too big. I can do it there. These ones here. These ones really work for some reason on this house. Uh, and I'll darken this one down. Let me go again. Here we go again. All the way along to there as well. And, of course, some more of these just around the edges. Double layer that one there. And then I'll do this one here down on the side. What would it look like if I put a green bit on there? Oh, actually. Oh, I think I might. Yeah. Just to make it look a little bit extra. A little bit extra funky. I'll do one there as well. Excuse you. Thank you. On that side there. Ah, oh, stunning. <laughs> stunning. I think he def... Oh, shit. Look how tall that drain pipe is. I didn't even realise. Why, why did I do one that bit? The longest one. I chose the longest. Oh, I bet somebody noticed. I bet you it's one of you 
eagle-eyed um naughty's noticed don't worry we changed it it's fine <laughs> and i think what we do is add in a satellite dish for dave as well imagine he puts um yeah imagine he's got cable cable or sky sky tv one of them without a doubt they all seem to have got satellites anyway so it's kind of marrying it into the street well and they're all turning the same way as well how weird how weird i must have known i must have known so i think what we'll do to finish off is we'll actually do his garage area as well today so we'll finish off his garage area um but i like the detail that's carrying on throughout here so dave is a tinkerer i need to move this away i'm going to move that away and then i'm going to move that again with a tool mod off of cam um, so Dave is definitely a tinkerer of cars. So I reckon I'm going to go in and pull out loads of stuff that we can put around his garage area to make it look like he's tinkering around with cars. And I reckon people in the street like bring him things to fix. He loves it. And I reckon he secretly takes pride and joy that maybe he's the kind of bicycle man of the street. Do you know what I mean? There was always somebody on the street that would fix your bike for you if it went wrong and all the kids come to Dave to get their bikes fixed. I'm um, for that idea as well. So, yes, let me go and pull out some stuff and we'll start detailing up this garage area. Okay, we've got an array of stuff. We've got an array of stuff and things that we're going to place around to make Dave's garage now. So I'm going to move these tires along this way first. I think that, like... Uh, electricity box could stay there quite nicely. I'm wondering if I could overlap the electricity box with this one just to make it look like it's like a fuse box or something. Let me lift that up, see what it would look like. Oh, I'm for it. There we go. Oh, I'm absolutely for that. Yes, that's fine. I'm going to put this little crate somewhere as well. I don't know where, but we're going to do it. Oh, I put you on top of there. If I can mingle you in there, and then if I can just lift that up one. I think that will sit on top of that quite well. Oh, it does. Perfect. Then I'm going to put this cr this grate in here as well. Um, Next to this recycling machine. I reckon he's all about recycling. Is Dave? <laughs> Maybe just to get extra parts or something. Um, That was my thought process on that. A fridge. A broken down fridge. Um, I really want to... Oh, there's a door to that. But where is it? There's the door. I found it. I'm going to put the door on it as well. In fact, I'm just going to open it slightly. Just going to open it slightly. Can I lift you up one? There we go. There we go. Dave's fridge. <laughs> Dave's fridge. And I've got a TV out here as well. I reckon he would watch a bit of TV while he's working away. Now, I pulled out so many tools here for Dave. Um, So I'm going to plonk these all on a big wooden table, I think. Uh, if I can find one. I don't know what I pulled that out for. I just thought it looked very tooly so that's why i did that <laughs> never get a gay a gay to um build a very heterosexual garage because <laughs> he will guess it he will guess it or they will guess it um i know i am i'm just guessing now i'm thinking maybe using the where is it cats and dogs one where are you yeah, using this one here as this actual workbench area. I'll pop you there. And I think I might be able to squeeze in. If I move that door slightly and turn the orientation of the door, I think I might be able to get in a woodworking bench as well. Woodworking table in creative. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I can. So we'll flop that in there too. Flop that in there. Brilliant. I'm going to put you the gas canister next. Gas canister. You, you Americans, you're turning me American. <laughs> With your gas. I've never in my life called it a gas canister. I mean, I don't know what I would call it, to be honest with you. A petrol holder? <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> I've no idea. But that is where we're going with it. Right, I'm going to turn the TV to like there. Can I change that to the brown one? I think it would match in a bit better in here. There we go. And then start adding the tools on top here. So this is all of his little tool area. Um hammer i didn't even know that we could grab these out of game didn't even know but there we are i don't know if they disappear or whatnot but i'm gonna put them all along here anyway just so tape's got his little workspace area and then this little like tool set 
thingy-ma-bob there. Ah, oh, stunning. And I think underneath of the car as well, we'll do one or more of those stains, but I'll do like a... Oh. We'll do this, but in the green, just so it makes it look like oil or something still out from here that he's been working on. Yep, I'm kind of for that. And the same kind of details in here as well with this. So I'll do another one of these like here. Just so we've got a bit of detail going on in there. Um, and then up here, I'm going to find that... Oh, I can't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was fast. That was very fast. I'm going to size it down because everything's massive. And plonk it up there as well. Um, so TV and maybe a radio in here as well. Maybe I could fit a radio out here. Um, can I like get you in a bit tighter, Filth? Maybe if I pull up it to there. There, there and there. Is that sticking through the wall? No. No, that's fine. Get a radio out here as well. Just so he's got a little bit of music for when he's fixing on his cars and whatnot. You know. You know how it goes. Yes. Like that. And I'll plop you to there as well. And I think let's get some more detail out with another stain. Just underneath of the actual workstation area too. But I'll do that in a green do that in a green. Yes. Yes, no, this looks cool. I like how this is this is coming out. Um, oh, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't even need it. Don't even need it. And I think I'm going to put this one over here by the door. Fire extinguisher just in case something goes wrong. You never know. Dave's little workspace. And I think the l perfect light for in here would be the one that came with get to work that kind of like long um this one i think this would work really well is that in the middle that's not in the middle Aiden. get it in the middle there we go you know oh i'm for it i still want to add some more stains and stuff on the walls i think in here but i think that is a good start for dave's garage dave's garage okay i think we're done for today we are done for today. We've managed to get the exterior done. It's exactly what I envisioned for Dave, to be honest with you. Um, keep those storylines coming because I've been pissing myself at your guys' imaginations. You're just amazing. Um, I'll be back next week. I'll be back next week and we'll start on the interiors of Dave's house. And I think the next person's house that we should build would be the two sisters, the two older lady sisters. Um, I was going to go and build Kylie's son's house here. But I think I want to carry on with the storyline with Dave for the minute. And we'll go and build Kylie's sisters. And we'll finish this street. And then I'll go on and build um, Kylie's son's house as well. So, my loves, Dave's house, at least the exterior, is done. There we are, my darlings. Part two of Dave's house is complete. Um, looking forward to cracking on with this again next week. I really, really am. So, get, as always, as I just said... Get those ideas down below because I love reading through. I've still got to read through most of the comments on the last video as well. So you'll feel you'll hear me replying to you guys in the next couple of days on those ones. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with some Design Me Devon. Um, just reminding you, Twitch lot, no stream tonight, my loves. I'll be back on Tuesday. Um, but that's it. Goodbye.